Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. The HTC One X now has an early build of Jelly Bean thanks to a Cyanogen Mod 10 preview, and boy is it fast. In this video, we're going to show you what it's like and compare it to the Galaxy S3 with a Cyanogen Mod 10 preview. Let's get to it. Now when we first reviewed the HTC One X, we had a few problems with it. We actually loved the hardware, and the screen in particular was amazing. Had great contrast, great color saturation, one of the best screens we've ever seen on a mobile device. The bad things about it were that it was running Sense 4.0, which is still a little bit too heavy, and number two, and worst of all, it was laggy. Opening a folder would stutter, going into the app tray would stutter. All around the operating system, there was lag even with a quad-core chip. Now, Project Butter, Android 4.1 hopes to fix the lag situation by doing a lot of cool stuff under the hood, and so we were really curious to see if Jelly Bean could fix the One X, and in this video, and you heard me say a minute ago that it's extremely fast, in this video we're going to show you that Jelly Bean does fix the One X and makes it an amazing phone. Let's take a closer look at Jelly Bean on the One X. Now, whether you're running the AT&T version of the One X or the international version of the One X, there's a ROM out there for you, Cyanogen Mod 10 Preview with Jelly Bean. It just takes a couple extra steps, which actually uh, took me a little bit of uh, time to figure out. But to your benefit, I'll tell you how to do it in the post on PocketNow.com. It requires a quick, fast boot command. And once you do that, the operating system boots, and it becomes just like any third-party ROM that you install and uh, through the Clockwork Mod Recovery. Very easy, uh, very fast, and Jelly Bean is amazing on the One X. Another note about the One X, I kind of put it in the drawer for about a month because I was using the Galaxy S3, and I took out the, the One X, and I was just reminded of how amazing the screen is on this thing. Uh, the color saturation is true to life, the contrast is amazing, and because of, because of the RGB subpixel configuration, the, the screen has this smoothness to it. Gradients are perfectly smooth. You can't see pixels uh, no matter how hard you try. So it's really cool to see really better software on the One X than what came with it when it shipped. Uh, so let's look at Jelly Bean here on the HTC One X. Everything is working here. The only thing that might not be perfect yet is battery life. I've been using this phone since about 8 a.m. and we're already down 20%. I've been using it a lot and screen brightness is up a good bit. So maybe it's not as, uh, as, as bad as I'm making it out to be, but it seems to be good enough to get you through the day, which is always what's important. So things are super fast. There's no more lag uh, that you might have been experiencing with Sense 4.0. Let's go into the browser first and then we're going to bring out the Galaxy S3 and actually compare a little apples to apples here. Uh, no pun intended, no Apple devices here at the moment. So we are going to go into the browser. Well, actually, let's back out and just go straight to Pocket Now. And here it's coming through. And let's get the Galaxy S3 over here. So we're going to hit up the browser. Let me get Pocket Now loaded as the One X, which actually is about to finish, uh, is, is chugging through that load. Okay, and just like with other Jelly Bean uh, installations, it's fast, like really, really fast. I mean, it's super responsive. There's, there's, there's no lag. Very seldom do you get that checkerboard or that white space. Same as on the Galaxy S3. Uh, now we can zoom in, and Galaxy S3 cleared up faster there, and that was actually at the same time. Let's click onto a link and see which device gets to a link faster. So we're gonna move over there. Panning and scrolling is just buttery smooth, and we will. Click on the same link at the same time, and they're off. Let's see which gets there first. We're over the same Wi-Fi network here. Looks like the Galaxy S3 is slightly ahead. Okay, the Galaxy S3 actually won, which is surprising because my previous tests were showing that the HTC One X was winning. So let's go back. Another thing I should mention that in the Cyanogen Mod 10 and, and 9, actually, uh, for, the, for the One X, you get a remapping of these buttons so that We'll go back home. Uh, this button here, usually assigned to multitask, now opens menu. That is so that you don't get that strip along the bottom that takes up precious screen space. So you might be thinking, where is multitask? Well, that's a tap and hold of the home button, just as you're used to. So let's test the speed of going back home. Slightly faster on the One X, but really, we're talking, you know, <laughs> negligible amounts of time. Let's try that again. 
I kind of did a little delay there. Let's go back in one more time. Okay, the One X slightly faster there. Opening folders, it's really hard to tell, but the One X, if you do it at the same time, the One X, the One X is actually slightly faster. They're probably on par in, in probably 50% of situations. The One X seems to be faster, but it doesn't really matter because both of these devices with Cyanogen Mod 10 are crazy fast. And of course, with Cyanogen Mod 10, you get a lot of cool features that you can tweak. Uh, so let's get the Galaxy S3 out of the way. We'll zoom in on the screen. We don't have Trebuchet here yet, uh, which is Cyanogen Mod 10's home screen or, or their launcher that allows you to customize how many rows and columns you have and behaviors and so on. But you do have cool system settings, like you can change uh, what, what shows up up here in the clock. Uh, we can change the battery percentage, whether we want to have the battery hidden or percentage, which is always nice. And we've got other, other options down here for performance. We can change the processor clocking. And here's a really cool feature I actually just discovered of Cyanogen Mod 10. If you go to Language and Input, and you go to the Settings, and down here to Advanced, you can actually change the vibration duration in milliseconds for the keyboard. Uh, by default, most keyboards have this little bit of tactile feedback. Some devices, it's way too much. It feels weird. But with, with this, uh, with, with Cyanogen Mod 10 and previous versions of, of Cyanogen Mod, you can change that to a very granular degree. So I've got a perfect 19 millisecond setup so that typing on the One X is a fantastic uh, experience. So anyhow, we'll put full instructions on how to do this on pocketnow.com. It's a few extra steps than the usual loading of a third party ROM, but Jelly Bean on the One X has fixed the One X. It is fast, very, very fast. Web browsing is unbelievably good, like really good. And, you know, we're just happy to to see better software on the One X, of course. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And of course, as always, thank you for watching. That's it for now.